I'd been meaning to install this for some time, but had gotten sidetracked with other things and forgot about it. Thanks to Hugo Zen for mentioning it. I've created a fork of this repository and merged a change by someone to update the requirements file. If you scroll down, here are all of the install steps. I placed it all in one box because the anaconda prompt will be able to execute each command one after the other. As long as there is a blank line after the last command, it will automatically run that too. So this is pretty much a one-click installer in a way. Let's copy, paste and run the commands. Skipping ahead. All of the commands have finished executing and now we are done. Enjoy! I'm just kidding. Let's go back to the GitHub page. You will need to download the model files from this link. There are four tar files and one Google Colab notebook. Click on this drop-down and click download. That will create and download a zip file with all these files. Go into the folder where you cloned the repository and create a folder called Checkpoints. Place the tar files you downloaded into this folder. Now we are ready to run the demo. I'm going to copy-paste this command to a notepad. Here we can specify the config file, the checkpoint file, the source image, and the driving video. Everything is already set up with values we can use. Let's check out the assets folder. Here we have the input image and the driving video mentioned in the command. Let's paste the command into the Anaconda prompt and run it. When it finishes, it will create the result video file in the project root folder. It worked! There you have it. However, it would be kind of cool if it kept Jackie Chan's voice. I remember looking at the DINET code, and at the very end it combined the video with an audio using FFmpeg. Let's see if we can steal that code, I mean reuse that code. Here is that code where it calls FFmpeg. It is basically adding audio to a video, which is exactly what we want. So we should be able to just copy-paste this code to the end of the other file to add the audio into that results video. I will go ahead and do that now, but don't worry. I will merge these code changes to the repository so that when you do a git clone, you will have all of the finished code changes. I am just including this as part of the video just for fun. I've opened the demo Python file. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Here is where it saves the video file. We can paste our code here. Notice it says that subprocess is not defined. I think we need to do an import for that. Let me go back to the DI net and get the call for the import. I'm just going to copy paste this import subprocess into the demo Python. Scroll back to the top and add it there with the rest. Now let's go back to where we added the other code. Now that squiggly line under the subprocess is gone. Great! Now we just need to change these variables for the input video and audio file for FFmpeg. This op.result underscore video is the variable for the output video that is generated. We're going to use that generated video as the input video for FFmpeg. And for the input audio, we want the audio from that Jackie Chan video, which was the original driving video. So that is stored in the opt.driving underscore video variable. The opt allows us to access the parameters provided when we run the command. I'm simply going to copy the parameter name from here and set it as the input audio to use for FFmpeg. Now the third parameter specifies the name of the output file. I think I'm just going to delete this one and simply hard code the output file name. In this string where it says FFmpeg, there are two curly braces. These represent placeholders. They will get filled in with the values of the parameters we just modified. Let's scroll to the right and delete the third curly brace because now we only have two parameters since I deleted the third one. I'm going to replace it with a hard-coded output file name. Done! Also, I should mention that this will not work if you do not have FFmpeg installed on your machine. If you go to a prompt and type FFmpeg, you should see version information and other details instead of an error that says unrecognized command or something. Here is the documentation page for the input arguments handler argpass. I would like to add another parameter, so first let's import argpass. I'm going to copy-paste the import statement to the top. 
I want to create an optional flag parameter such that when specified, a second video will get generated which will contain the audio from our added FFM peg code. That way, we can keep the existing default functionality intact if that is what the user wishes to use. I have created it here and called it Add Audio. Now let's go to the bottom and put the code that we added into an IF statement. We only want to execute that new code if that new Add Audio parameter is specified. We should be able to simply say if op.add audio and then tab the chunk of code we added since in Python, tabbing is how it recognizes code blocks. Now let's save and run the same command we ran earlier without the flag to make sure it still works like it originally did. It has finished. Let's take a look at the generated output. It worked just like before. Great. Now let's run the command again, but this time let's add the new add audio flag as a parameter when running the command. Now let's see what it generated this time. It generated two videos, one without audio and the one with the audio added. Great! I will go ahead and merge the code changes to the GitHub repository now. First, let's confirm the changes to make sure it looks right. We are importing the subprocess and argpass. Then we are adding that new parameter. And finally, we are generating a second video with the audio from the driving video, if that flag is set. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and stage the changes and then commit and push them to the main branch so that it becomes available for anyone to use when they do a Git clone. I would like to try to generate some more videos. On the GitHub page, there is a link to a replicate demo. If we scroll down, we can see more images and videos we can use. I'm going to download them from this JSON tab with the provided links. I have downloaded one new video and two new images that I found on the replicate demo. I'm going to try out the new video with Elon Musk's face. Let's have a look at the input video first. I ran that with the image of Elon. Let's take a look at what it generated. Well, that is pretty wacky and funny. Next, I ran the same video, but this time with Trump's image. That is pretty funny. On the GitHub page, I included another link to a Google Drive with models for one of the other repositories mentioned on this GitHub page about the one with Tai Chi and TED Talks. In the datasets section, if you click the third link, it will take you to that repository. I'm going to copy the Git URL to this one and just clone it within the other repository. If you want to try this out, you can clone it wherever. But to keep things simple for myself, I think it will be easier for me if I just keep all of these in one folder. So I will keep it as a subfolder within the other repository. Notice how it says it could not download the checkpoints. That is where you would use that link I just showed to the Google Drive for this repository's models. Just download those models and put them in the checkpoints folder. I called this repository's subfolder TED for short, and within its checkpoints folder, I will paste those mentioned models. They look similar to the other repository's models, but are different. If you scroll down on this TED Talks repository, we can see the command for the demo here. I'm going to copy-paste it to Notepad. Just like the other one, we need to specify the config, checkpoint, and the input video and image. I'm going to copy the config name from the file in the config folder and the checkpoint name from the checkpoint file in the checkpoints folder. Checkpoint, checkpoint, so many checkpoints. The sample input video and image is stored in this submat folder. Who is Matt? There is an image of a woman and a video of a woman talking in slow motion for some reason.
I'm going to provide the names of the video and image to the command. Then copy-paste the finished command to the Anaconda prompt and run it. Make sure you are in the correct folder for this repository first. And now we see the woman from the image also speaking in slow motion as the woman from the video. The AI did an interesting job with generating the hands. On this page in the dataset section, we just looked at the TED Talks. I will skip the first one for now and may look at it at a later point in time. But the second link for Tai Chi is actually a link where you can download the datasets. It is basically a Python script that downloads YouTube videos and crops them within the same frame that the models are trained on. I'm going to just show this one real quick just for fun. I just went ahead and did a git clone within another folder that is within the same repository. On this one's GitHub page, we can get the command to download the Tai Chi dataset. If you do decide to use this repository to download a dataset, you will need to make a couple small code changes for it to work. Go into the load underscore videos Python file. On line 72, you want to put this line which calls the save function within an if statement. You only want to execute this code if the entry frames is not empty. So I'm going to copy this entry frames and create an if statement that checks the length of it by calling the len function to make sure to only call this if the len is not zero. Or to be even more precise, it would be better to say when the length is greater than zero, but this should work too. Remember to tab the save once to the right so it goes within the if statement. Then you will want to change this YouTube DL to be YT-DLP, which is another program which has more features than YouTube DL. You will want to make sure you have it installed if you go to a prompt and run it. It should give usage details and say you need to provide a URL. If it says command not recognized, then you need to install this before running the Python command. This is the GitHub page for it. If you go to the releases, you can click on which file should I download and then select Windows and it will download it. I already have this installed. You will want to place the EXE somewhere and then add that path to where you place the EXE to the path environment variable, similar to FFmpeg. I have it in this folder called Tools on the C drive. And I have this folder in the path environment variable. Once you have done that, you can run this command to download the YouTube files. There are a lot of files. I ran it and downloaded some of it, but it was going to take a long time, so I ended the process. This TPSM project seems to work well with inputs that are very similar to the trained model with the picture of Jackie Chan, for example. If the frame is too large or the face is not entirely on the screen, it won't work too well. There is code to train your own models, which I might check out at some point as well. Anyways, that's all for today. Enjoy!